Hey guys, Zen here, and year five of Rainbow Six Siege is quickly approaching. We're just a few short weeks away from the big reveal at the Sixth Invitational, but naturally there's been a few leaks as we get super close here. And to say the least, it's created quite the controversy throughout the community, and year five is going to be a very, very different year to start out here. And so first of all, we have this. It's an image of what will be essentially the splash screen once we start year five. It features the year five pass and kind of details all that stuff and what we learn is quite interesting so as you can see the year five pass will include the usual offerings of exclusive customization options 10 percent off in the shop five percent renown boost alpha pack stuff and a bunch of other extra goodies added on with a vip membership that you typically get with the pass but what's different here is that with this pass you'll only gain access to six new year five operators instead of the typical eight now since the very beginning of the game rainbow six siege has had this consistent heartbeat of eight new new operators every single year and throughout its seasonal content we get one new attacker and one new defender they have deviated from this in the past a little bit with operation chimera and parabellum for example but after announcing that they would never introduce a season with two attackers and two defenders again it's been a very consistent content offering now as you could imagine some people just aren't happy about this news there are some in the community that have been expressing concerns at the fact that look we're just, we're getting less content here in year five than we would if we were to get eight new operators introduced. And I'm sure there are some of you out there that agree. I think the majority of this frustration is coming fresh off of the heels of year four. With this year, we got a lot of reused weapons and loadouts. And of course, some of the abilities that new operators have launched with, such as Nock, haven't really been brand new. It's kind of a hybrid of some existing abilities. And so I think a lot of people, myself included, were kind of hoping for a content rich year filled with new operators abilities and even maps to kind of counteract this but if i'm honest guys i think there's a little bit more here so it should be noted that it specifically mentions new year five operators and it doesn't say anything about reworks to existing operators or anything like that and so i think there's going to be a little bit of a compromise there i could imagine a season in year five that includes say a new operator and a rework to an existing operator that we've been waiting for for a very long time if that is the goal and that is kind of the direction that Ubisoft wants to take this for year five, then it makes a lot of sense. Look, let's get serious here. I mean, we've been waiting for a Tachanka rework for years, like literally multiple years at this point. And I couldn't really imagine a season where you have two new operators that have new abilities, new weapons on a new map, and also a full Tachanka rework. It, it just sounds like overload. Now, in a perfect world, sure. It sounds amazing. A bunch of new operators, a rework to an operator that we've been waiting for for a very long time, potentially a new map or a rework to an existing map, and a bunch of feature updates and game updates that come along with every new season. Like, it sounds amazing, but it can also introduce a ton of new problems, especially when you're talking about balance and the new player. I think the devs learned from year two with Blood Orchid and White Noise that introducing three operators per season is just too much, and I think it's part of the reason and why Ella was so dominant and so overpowered for as long as she was until she was nerfed for the first time. So Ubisoft came out and actually made a comment about these year five findings and the game director, Leroy Athanasoff, went on and stated, we are investing our resources on building more features and systems that will impact every player in every match. The year five pass reflects this direction, focused on features that benefit all players, not just those playing the newest operators. It will lead to additional content for all players, such as free events, events, extensive reworks, and other core gameplay features. More details on why we are releasing six operators in year five, as well as how that leads into year six and beyond will be shared during the sixth invitational in February. So yeah, that basically confirms what we're seeing here is legit, and also that year five will only introduce six new operators. But it also confirms that Ubisoft is working on core systems of the game, which could ultimately mean a massive change for the future and what it means to actually play Rainbow Six Siege. And so I'm really excited about what that means. And obviously we'll learn more about all of this at the Six Invitational coming up very, very soon here. Now guys, I did wanna mention here, and I think it's really important to know that 
the core development team of Rainbow Six Siege has changed, and both Alexandra Remy and Xavier Marquis have left Rainbow Six Siege, and these were the two that effectively created what we know as the experience today. Given the fact this was a very recent change, Year 5 will directly reflect this and ultimately show the new direction for Rainbow Six Siege. It is a very exciting time for the future of the game, but it is also quite daunting if we're honest, because after hearing about this news and seeing the community reaction, it's going to take a little bit of time for everyone to get settled in and to see if Year 5 is truly a good time to be invested in Siege. So guys, I want to know your thoughts on this news. Is it as bad as some people are making it seem? The fact that we're only getting six new operators in Year 5? Are you looking forward to the new contents? And ultimately, are you okay with a season that will introduce, say, maybe one new operator and an operator rework like Tachanka or Castle? Let me know your thoughts in a comment down below. Now, because Ubisoft have basically confirmed this image, we do get a look at two new operators here. We've got this kind of brawly looking gentleman on the right and a somewhat futuristic vibe to the female on the left. There really is no way to gauge what CTUs these two are coming from, but if I had to guess, these are the year five season one operators we're seeing here. Now, the only thing we know about any of the operators of year five was a recent leak that came out about an operator releasing with the G36C of course, a weapon from Ash, and an operator that would come with the MP5 from both Doc and Rook. So, although we can't draw the conclusion on their CTUs, I think it can be assumed that at least one of these operators, most likely the female here, is coming from Nighthaven. Of course, in year four, we learned about Kali and her company Nighthaven. They're a private military group that specializes in high-risk operations. It's been hinted at time and time again that Nighthaven will play a key role throughout the entirety of year five, and will also be a story arc that kind of blankets over the entire year of content. A lot of the community has speculated we'll see more operators from Nighthaven in year five. And so looking at this female operator here, she kind of has that futuristic look, that full bodysuit. They kind of have a signature design style. She could be coming from Kali's private military group. Now, as far as the male operator, he looks like a brute. Thick beard, short, stocky stature. My assumption is a three armor operator, but of of course for that we'll just have to wait and see now the only other thing to go through is of course the mention of the battle pass which looks like it has been delayed and will be a part of year five season one in some way as a part of the vip membership that you get when you purchase a year pass for the game it looks like ubisoft will be adding in the perk of a discount on battle pass items which always works out in games that have battle passes and so it shouldn't be any different here all in all guys the start of year five is going to be quite unique but also undoubtedly controversial controversial. I'm really hoping, like probably a lot of you are, that Ubisoft can deliver on a great year five and every bit of it from the operators to the events is good, if not better than what we've seen as of recent. But there's always going to be those in the community that just aren't a fan of less operators. And to some degree, I totally understand. But personally, just being honest, the reworks are what I lose sleep over. It's just like for me, seeing a dramatically different Tachanka that actually functions in the meta is what it's all about. Now, outside of this news, Ubisoft dropped a trailer showing off the event, The Program. It looks like it'll feature a new Coliseum style map that will pit the operators against each other in an arena crucible kind of game mode. It'll be playable starting on the 15th of January and will be available every weekend through the Invitational ending on the 16th of February. Now, what's interesting to me is that from the looks of the map, I'm thinking it'll change and be sort of modular week after week. Buildings and cover could be moved around and it's possible everything is changed to the point of being a brand new map every single weekend. Now, I'm really, really looking forward to trying this new mode out, and if it's any good and received well by the community, there's always the chance Ubisoft keeps it long-term in the game. Last year's Road to Six Invitational playlist featured Pick and Ban for the first time publicly, and it was a hit, and I can't wait to see how this one fares. Now, what separates this one from the last is the focus on lore. There's Kavera pushing Doc, Pulse breaking it all up, there's a live audience Audience. The first time we'll be playing with a live audience in game. I'm curious if that'll have any effect on gameplay, but it's a very busy appeal and a much different aesthetic than how a typical match of Siege is played. But guys, that is everything. The first initial details of year five, the breakdown of the new Road to SI event, the program, and of course, my thoughts 
to follow suit. Now is the time to get subscribed here on the channel with those notifications on because today begins a new year of Rainbow Six Siege content and I'll be here for all of it. Now guys, I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts about everything we learned here? I know there was a lot, but I'm curious how you guys are feeling about the start of year five. Also, what operators should be reworked now that we can confirm we'll be seeing more of that here. Leave everything in a comment down below. Guys, I hope 2020 is great so far for you and you had an amazing holiday, but we're back on the grind here. So I'll see you in a brand new video tomorrow. But with all that being said, guys, it's been Zen. Hey. Thanks for watching. I'm out.